Welcome here at the Tech Talk Studio with our final and 14th item of this wonderful conference of two days discussing cybersecurity in a range of topics. This final item we're going to look back at today and also at the future, the smart coalitions. Of course, with Ellie van der Heuvel, the head of the National Cybersecurity Center, and Art Jochem, who's the manager of monitoring and response team. So, First of all, the very open question. After two days, it's probably difficult to summarize, but what is your feeling after these two days of conference, Ellie? I think uh, it is the 12th time we organized it, and uh, I am, I'm pretty sure it's another successful conference. Mm. Uh, of course, it's not only the talks and uh, the subjects we discuss, but it's also the networking, the getting to know each other, and to, mm. to keep the trust or to gain the trust. Mm. And I think we pretty well succeeded. Yeah. We've seen for some high-level sessions, but there was plenty of networking time in the between, also at the beach last night. Uh, Art, what was your experience the uh, yeah, last I, two yeah, days? Yeah. I experienced uh, the same. I also got a lot of positive uh, feedback, so not alone with just the five is guys high, but also with the participants. So I really enjoyed it this time. Good yeah. networking. Great. You've both been there from the beginning on of the National Cybersecurity, also when it was named GovCert. Yeah. Uh, we had these annual conferences. Uh, how did it grow during the years? We had 1,000 people now in two days. Where did it start and, and, well, where are we going? The thing is we changed the concept. At first we started with a very technical conference uh, for certs. And during the years, we extended the concept. Uh, we invited lawmakers, we invited policy makers. Um, we tried to interest decision makers. Uh, so it's more a cooperation between us and for example, the Secret Service, the high tech crime team, but also the private sector. And it will grow, but in my opinion, it will have a certain limit because the intimacy and, and the time to network is still important. So it's finding a balance between yeah. sharing a lot of information, uh, having a lot of people. We had to turn down 400 people, this mm. conference, and still um, have the feeling of trust and intimacy. Yeah, well, that, that's why we are making this video, so that all these pe people who couldn't enter can still see the videos. Absolutely. Uh, you say well, we, we attracted much more other people, uh, law enforcement, blah, blah, blah. the visitors which appealed to me most were these young guys walking about. He was one of 14, 17. Yes. Who were they? Yeah. <laughs> they are uh, hackers in a good sense, white uh -huh. hackers. And more and more we see the importance of engaging with the hacker community. Uh, we started a res responsible disclosure policy. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that is a very good uh, instrument to get in touch and stay in touch with that community yes. because they are very valuable. Yeah. They can give us lots of information. And that is very important to raise the level of cybersecurity yeah. in our country. Yeah, the 14-year-old was wearing an a NCSC t-shirt. I was yes. quite proud of it, right? You, you met him? Yeah, well, we, uh, yeah, we met him uh, uh, several times. So um, uh, these people wear these t-shirts. It's, it's not uh, the value in money, what's it, but it's uh, showing that you have uh, acted in a responsible way and mm -hmm. uh, have uh, communicated with, uh, with the center to get things right. And uh, well, that's important because if these uh, well, young kids are not uh, here to, are shoved aside because of who are you, mm -hmm. well, they might end up uh, in a much worse uh, environment than uh, and, and become black hat or gray hat hackers yeah. because they are really ingenious in the way they approach uh, things and, uh, well, let them help them, let them be their cavalry. Yes, yes the credit, <laughs> very <laughs> important. Yeah. Any other visitors which appealed very much to you were quite special, extraordinary in a way? Yeah, well, f for me it's always uh, also a good uh, contact moment for all the international colleagues we, uh, we ah, have. The third teams in other countries. The third teams, yeah. And this conference also became uh, a nucleus for all kinds of site uh, meetings. So the next couple of days we, st we uh, again have meetings with CERT. We had it on Monday and there are all kinds of other international meetings yes. around this conference. And that's for me always really good to, to meet them again. It's all about networking. Um, your presentation was also about networks. Yeah. Um, uh, countering cyber challenges in the network world. Uh, you, you talked about uh, the, the monitoring network, response network, expertise network. 
yeah. networks in the human and the technical sense. Yeah, well, especially in the in the human uh, human sense, or the or the way to um, to connect organizations to uh, to help each other. So if we say every organization is responsible for its own cybersecurity, its own information security, uh, but the threat has been uh, risen so high that uh, a lot of organizations can't organize or protect them just by themselves. So you need to organize a network. We've taken this approach for uh, the, the, the topics on detection, on the topics of uh, response and uh, also expertise. These are the main bearers of cybersecurity. Um, and it's working out and we, we, we start working together not just on an operational level, but also on a strategic level and uh, have the support of uh, uh, top management of the organizations which are part of this network. And we're getting things done, the ball is rolling and there's a lot of spirit in it. Okay. Yeah. And, and doing that, you meet all these international partners of other CERT teams who do it in their own way. What kind is, is the Netherlands special or are we just doing regularly or...? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very Dutch to brag. <laughs> okay, well, actually <laughs> so not. So during <laughs> our uh, uh, international cooperation, we have learned um, that it's good to stay modest. Um, and in doing so, I will tell you that we are um, ahead in many, many ways, but mm. that there's also possibilities to learn from others. Uh, and we're doing okay. Yeah. yeah, you got a feeling yeah. too. Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 always in this community. Uh, that there's on certain topics, a couple of uh, organizations are upfront, and others are in other topics. So learning from each other is really important. Yes. So that's also why we yeah. give these kind of talks also on this conference to, yeah. to share the uh, experience uh, yeah. of all these organizations. But when I was talking to the international visitors, well, what struck them most was the openness. That, that there were so many different people entering the conference that so much information was shared. Do you share that feeling? That this openness yeah. is, is kind of Dutch way? Mm. Mm, I wouldn't say that, but I will tell you that this year is a turn, turning point. Mm. Um, in the concept first, when you share information and colleague certs, of course, you know, it's very secretive. But so many people want to know what's going on in the conference that we decided to open up, share information, and certain information that you don't want to share in public, we'll share in another way mm -hmm. but at least there is a podium for people and having tech talks is also another way of opening up and having more transparency so this year is an absolute turning point yeah. well thank you too uh, for having me here and honestly i was, was struck by the, the the degree of liberty you gave me to do these items select people there was nobody asking what are you going to do there was a, a level of trust and yeah. i hope I uh, meet your uh, expectation of trust with the items. Um, talking about the future, what happens next? Uh, will there be yet a conference like this next year? Will this continue each year? Absolutely. Um, next year in April there will be a conference that will be connected to the Cyber State Space Conference uh, in 2015. The year after there will surely be a conference as well. In 2016 uh, we chair the European Union. Um, after that we will evaluate uh, the concept of the conference and see if we can also start cooperating uh, the way we do in an international level. Okay. Yeah. European or international? Uh international. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Could be that we start European yes. but the idea is to have smart coalitions uh, connected to the conference as well. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I I go along the line. So the, the next couple of years, there certainly will be uh, uh, another conference uh, and other conferences and uh, the opportunity to meet all these people again and have yeah. terrific speeches. Yes. Okay. Um, another thing will happen more soon. Yeah. Is that you are going to leave the National Cybersecurity Center? I am. Well, actually, am. you're going to the National Cybersecurity Council. Yes which is not that far away, but no. we're going to miss you. And you've been here for six years, right? Yes, absolutely. How do you yeah. look back at this period? Um, with, with, with pride, with pride. Um, when I started my job, uh, there were 70 people in a back room. And to be totally honest, I didn't know that. So after I signed the contract, um, I went to see the premises and I was really shocked. <laughs> I'm not even sure, had I known that, whether I would have done it. Um, 
but it's it's the best decision of my life and to build with a very technical team and me adding uh, other qualities and sense of uh, you know policy and building an organization um, I think we did a terrific yeah. job yeah and as I say there isn't much for me to wish for anymore we have a safe harbor now we are allowed to extend um, Cybersecurity is hot, it is on the agenda. Mm. So there is a time for me to uh, develop myself personally. Mm -hmm. So from an operational uh, level, I will now be on a more strategic level. And I'm really yeah. looking forward to that. Well, you're a very experienced manager at the council. You'll be doing less management talks and yeah. more on strategy. Yeah, absolutely. So that's your personal... Yeah. Uh, that is a choice. and. Uh, while I was at the center, I always had talks with people about the future and, and, and trends and development in cybersecurity. But I didn't really have the time to really, you know, mm. um, really listen because I also had a business to run. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to have more time to have those talks and really be able um, to support these people. Uh, who are really the experts on cyber crime and cyber security yes. and help them to uh, have you know very wise advices yes what will be your your main advice for the next person who will be the head Wilma um, I think to take her time to understand that this is a, a complex world with a different hierarchy uh, you can't phone one organization and say, hey, I've had enough of this internet stuff, uh, finish this or change this. Or um, So sh I think taking your time and really finding out what this world is like is maybe the most important thing yes. uh, she can do. And I do congratulate her with a new job because it's a fantastic job. Yeah. Um, and I have fully trust that it's, it's very well in yeah. her capable hands. In your introduction in the beginning of the day, she said, if there is no change, there is no progress. Art, how, how are you perceiving this change? Yeah, well, in, in the, well, let's say the history, the young history of uh, uh, cybersecurity and search center, uh, we've seen a couple of, let's say, changes. So I regard this uh, as going into a new cycle and, uh, well, getting more mature uh, as, uh, well, as center but also in the Netherlands, in our approach to cybersecurity. So it's next cycle, uh, Ellie's leaving. We'll have new, uh, a couple of other people are also leaving. We had uh, Dave uh, uh, on the stage. And, uh, but it's, it's a natural, almost natural next phase in uh, maturity. Yes. I hope we will grow in, in the same way as we grew in, in the phase where Ellie uh, led uh, the center. Mm. Uh, but that's for the future to decide. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to, uh, forward to that future. Uh, next year, there will be another conference. I hope you'll be there too, uh, yeah. representing yeah. the council and, of course, you mm -hmm. there too. Yeah. Thank you very much, Elie van der Heuvel. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.